Careful. Oh, I, dude, this is just a, such a me-centric episode. What? Yep. <laughs> oh, she woke up. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening, and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been <laughs> the best thing to say. Valhalla? Am I dead? Does this mean that Uncle Ingus is dream boys about the afterlife? What do you want to shout downtown by with true? <laughs> Called it Afterlife. I'm not dead. As far as I can tell, no. Also, we've gotten three of the same track over and over again. <laughs> to be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Uh, uh. Alright then, where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? Were you planning to do something with me? Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pitbockets? You're pitbockets, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries. Otherwise, you'll just... Imagine she just says, You said men sus! <laughs> You're rapist, aren't you? Rapist! The whole lot of you! You wanna tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, have your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? Whoa, girl, jumping in conclusions. Almost so violent in every hole in my body as I lay there twitching, don't you? This girl needs a drink. She does. Murder, 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 murder! <laughs> you can go on. <laughs> uh, interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Or to throw at her face. No, I cannot fit her, Calvin. I do not want to fit her. <laughs> Let's calm her down, please. Meanwhile, in the background, while while Jill is contemplating me in these drink, you're just hearing murder, 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 murder. <laughs> yeah. Let's give her the bad touch. <laughs> <laughs> Calm her down with a bad touch. <laughs> We're nothing but mammals after all. Oh my god, that is so awful. <laughs> well, you're you're the one. You it, it's your choice. I'm the one. <laughs> the fact that you just go, let's give her a bad touch. When she's screaming about you about to rape. Her. Yeah, that, that'll calm her down. That's not gonna calm her. You're gonna get a game over, dude. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is water an option? We do have frothy water, but I don't think that's really gonna help too much. And you, when you see the ingredients for frothy water, you would see. <laughs> it's, it's, it's bland. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know, you. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's just one of every ingredient, dude. It's. It's literally just trough water. You know, I should have been paying more attention to the video that plays in Midnight Valhalla so I can actually figure this out. Oh, uh, let's let's do a fluffy dream. What do you mean figure it out? We just oh, I, we're BTC certified. I'm come on. Absolutely, sure, yeah. <laughs> Don't make me look bad. I'm the one voicing Jill. I might be murdered. What are you looking for exactly? Or are you just kind of like looking through our drink list? I'm, I'm looking through the drinks. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's also the bottle drinks tab I should pay attention to as well. That has a few other things, but... 
fedora with perfume and a plum. <laughs> Don't twitch on it, you'll, you'll serve it. Or rather, like, it would start to serve, but that's also there, because you can buy bottle drinks later. I would point that out. Let's do... We'll do a fluffy dream. There you go, Chief. A couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety. More of them and you'll be sweeping soundly. Go. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bars serve drinks. Horses like, hey. <laughs> a bar? So I figured I should give you something to help calm you down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What did you spice it with? Rufies? TTS? Pumpkins? Pumpkin spice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just realized. I thought it was just pumpkins ingredients, but pumpkin spice actually lines up. God, no. I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes me suspicious, you know. If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dot my pay and tips. Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired in his benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all of that is just... Ugh. Even if you say that... Let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. <laughs> Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What about- OH MY GOD! <laughs> How? Why? How? <laughs> I'm back! You tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? <clears throat> no. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. Mm -hmm. Says negative. There you go. But, but you should be in cahoots with the twig in the store! He even knew your name! Good point. But first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace, please. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry, but when you're screaming bloody murder, you can just ignore the drink, go through that door, and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace, and nothing of value would be lost. Mm hmm. Are you implying something wouldn't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Uh... What about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? Yeah, I took like five minutes picking it out. No, <laughs> I... Oh, I'll let you know I'm not that kind- I'm not that unimportant and that your work does matter! Most confusing inspirational speech of all time? Actually, though. Uh, not sure you drink it all so fast. Uh, you should drink it all so fast. <laughs> uh, so how was it? <laughs> mm -hmm. It was fine, but that's something I'd order normally. Mm. 
Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay here for a little while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. Protoss in chat says, alright, she's insane. M maybe we're calming her down a little bit. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets. Strip the clothes, dignity, and slash or or get- How did you say slash out in person? Hello? <laughs> And or. <laughs> and slash or. How did you do that? It's, it's not Pogrom bit. How did you do that with your mouth? <laughs> Stop burn, Pogrom. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? And sick? I guess I'm sick. But I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, yeah, maybe you're on to something, Kronos. Maybe she is insane. Of course. I'll tell you what. Your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink now. Yeah, you might be right. Uh, okay then, I'll take you up on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. Piano man. He's asking for a piano man. I don't see women asking for a piano man every day. This is a drink that I like serving in pairs with the piano woman to you, Ayn. Yep. Yep. And read the instructions. What's it asking for, Ein? On the rocks! You can read! Congratulations! Shut up! <laughs> hey, I have you. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> Dear. Yeah, you're busy in the toilet paper closet. Yeah, <laughs> this is the one. M my dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. <laughs> What did he do? Your dad, I mean. To provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist swept off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad would write some music credit that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. Jazz of all, of all music. <laughs> a jazz recital just went to somebody just <laughs> just sweeping off and punching oh, the strong. <laughs> You're gonna see blue. <laughs> and you'll be black and blue in a second too. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I see. The piano man has an interesting story, actually. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of its that had just died. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors his said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So, this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though I'm still just an intern. And I asked where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? Another person from The Augmented Eye, huh? I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. Bastard leaves his reed wherever he goes. 
so you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much that hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> 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 Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people haven't done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. What? A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. I guess, I guess the P I and mean, IP stands for pizza. <laughs> Charisma, dude. <laughs> Donovan D. Dawson, what does the D stand for? Do the freaking server maintenance! <laughs> Would you believe it? The guy becomes decent at server maintenance, despite having no previous experience! <laughs> Actual inspiration! Damn. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time I hate his guts! Ugh! Knowing I have to work for him, it's... Ugh! Why are you working there, then? Uh, did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, don't fret about it. Rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cut somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? Chemical hazards like... Ah, uh, the patch the story. Patoo! <laughs> Patoo! <laughs> spit everywhere! At one point I thought about being a bartender. But I was afraid they'd make me wear skippy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. There's a difference between being a bartender and a stripper. Sometimes those two coincide, but it's not often. <laughs> Do you have two nickels, Ein? <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on where you start working, you know? Cruzy, I'm broke. I don't have nickels anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you're cleaning the dog. <laughs> I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. <laughs> oh no! We just talked about this. I was this. just talking about it. We just talked. About... <laughs> Are you I sure you're this. blind to this game, Ayn? <laughs> My boss just wanted a comfy place. I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What's with wanting to put somewhere safe and all that? She is. She's so cool and collected, and has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she seems a bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh, sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that. <laughs> It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one. Although, I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One Brantini, please. Man, we are serving so many Brantinis. Coming hmm. right up. She wants a Brant... Sorry, a Mar... Ah! A Brantini! Yes, that. Here. Yep. This seems right the stuff. Cheers. Cheers. Gun hey, hold, hold, hold up. Cheers. There you go. Hydrate. 
<laughs> you ass. Cheers. As I just drink from my water. <laughs> hey, Joe. Was this job like a life on dream or something? Not really. It just kind of happened. One thing led to another and bam. Bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? Uh, the only dream I remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julianne arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet. But alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase. Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture tots, being a model warrior... Oh, childish dreams. Yeah. Huh? I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. This seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams? None that I feel particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. Oh, Good Jill. Jill, I've got some bad news for you. <laughs> they are nowhere near as intricate and advanced as you would think they are nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> They're consuming the power grid, Jill! Oh no. <laughs> We, we need server maintenance on it now! <laughs> <laughs> Dawson's out there just taking a hammer to it. It's like, damn So, I picked something I found nice and moved on from all that AI and blockchain stuff. <laughs> Do you think Donovan D. I Dawson thought... would go on a joint and tirade about Bitcoin? <laughs> he would go on a tirade about ChatGPT. <laughs> it's, uh, it's taking away the quality of my work, but it keeps generating quits! As an editor, I'm Chat conflicting! I can do a better job at getting clicks than any of you fuckers in here! I mean, I enjoy it in one retrospect. I could fire everybody that I wanted, but I have nobody to worry over! And now I have to worry about the electric bill! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I, I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw the toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Uh, good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. It's sure. Uh, uh, who is he? A ghost. Nobody you saw. <laughs> nobody you should worry about. I was gonna laugh if Joe said nobody important again. Uh oh. I heard that! <laughs> Why were you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job. Others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. Oh. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you, and come again. Ah, <sighs> and that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. I need to reevaluate because I think the die girl ratio is actually pretty skewed, but it's fine. Yeah. Where's Jill? And where is the girl that was here? Jill cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. 
So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? Or was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but uh, she managed to calm down. Hmm. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey, boss? Do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Hmm? Not really, no. It's nothing like you call me that. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger. Just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. And welcome to the end of your first day, Ayn. Nice. You can see your earnings, the earnings from the drinks that you got, any mistakes that you made out of your drinks, your commission, and a few other small things like flawless service bonus. You didn't mess up any orders today. Congrats, Ayn. Yay. And <laughs> there's a little extra for helping that girl calm down. Wouldn't I love to have a boss who gave me 500 bots for dealing with retail customers? Oh, that would be amazing. That'd be a dream job, honestly. It would be nice. Making, like, $2,400 a day. If to only. listen to J. Jonah Jameson? <laughs> and a girl <laughs> stream bloody murder at you? I mean, it'd be worth it if it's for, like, 2400 bucks. Uh, let's not talk about inflation in whatever year this is, though. <laughs> true. True, that is very true. Well, once again, how did you like your first day? Not bad. I liked it. Jill is what? Oh, you skipped it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was kind of... <laughs>